To be called by his name means to belong to him. You don't belong to yourself anymore. From your thinking, to your body, to your moves, actions, to your belonging, everything that's about you does not belong to you from the day you were born again. Receiving Christ in your life gives you the nature of Christ. They were all living in the same community, living in the same land. But the difference between Israel and Egypt was the mark of the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You bear the mark of Jesus Christ on top of you. So when death comes at night, you want to reach and destroy you, the blood will say, not here. The angel will pass over. When poverty will look for a place to stay and seize the blood of Jesus, that's you, it will just pass over. So the people who are called by God's name are the people who have been marked with the blood of Jesus Christ. Are you following what I'm saying? Marked with the blood of Jesus and are the people who escape divine judgment. Because the church is marked with the blood of Jesus, the judgment will not reach the church. So that's why as a child of God, are you following what I'm saying? As a child of God, you have to be sure you are in the pasture, in the yard in the compound where the blood is protecting you so living with the full consciousness that i don't belong to you i belong to christ from the day i gave my life to jesus christ number two peter says you are a royal priest good number one he picked you up from the mud he chose you the way you are he did not think about your family about your background he did not think about how many sins you you you, 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 you committed he did not think about your strength and your weaknesses he just chose you with a priest and for assignment to bring people from the world from sin into God into perfection that's the work of a priest to stand in between God and the people so God chose you number one he established you like a go between the world and this kingdom you are not like them anymore you are the one to show them the way that's a priest you are the one to take them to God your work is to connect the people you are with the people who are following you the people who are talking to you the people who like you number three he said a dedicated nation in another scripture he said a nation set apart you are in the world but you don't belong to this world you are in this world that you don't you are not ruled by the constitution of this world because we are the nation of the, the Lord and only God is our king. We don't do according to the world. We don't do according to our tradition. We don't even, we cannot even be traced back to our traditions. The only tradition that's ruling us is the constitution, which is the word of God. And we have in us the blood of Jesus. Number four, God's own purchased special people. The Bible calls the church the bride of Christ when you pay the bride price the bride automatically bears your surname so as a child of God Christ died for you he went on the cross and paid the price for you to bear his name therefore you don't bear the name of your father anymore spiritually all the genes everything that was supposed to be in your father's blood transferred to you was dead from the day you received Jesus Christ if failure was part of the family doctrine from the day you received Christ you broke that curse so from you to your children something else is happening if diabetes was a sickness that was killing people in your family from the day you received Jesus Christ diabetes has stopped in your blood because your blood has automatically changed your surname has changed from who you are to a child of God are you listening to what I'm saying? So when next the spirit, the devil that brings that genetic, biologic, family sickness will come looking for you, will not find you because you have the mark. 